Talk. SCTV Sports presentation of Simsbury Trojans Hockey. We have a packed house here at the International Skating Center of Connecticut for tonight, tonight's game against the Northwest Catholic Indians. Simsbury comes in tonight to tonight's game with a record of two wins and one loss. The loss coming in their last game against Notre Dame West Haven, and that was a five goals to one loss. Northwest Catholic is coming off a 4-2 win over the Suffield Grandy Windsor Locks team and have a 2-0 record. Simsbury's starting lineup for tonight is forward number 3 sophomore Riley Chapman, forward number 17 junior Hunter Chapman, forward number 15 senior Nolan Thompson, defenseman number 10 senior Curtis Ellis, defenseman number 18 Junior Brendan Law, and in goal tonight for the Trojan is number one, senior Maxwell Allen. We're getting ready for the puck drop and we'll be underway. And the teams line up for the puck drop. And we're underway. Simsbury takes the first face off, brings it back into their end, out to center, back, back into their end, trying to regroup here. And the puck slides down into the Simsbury end, past the goal line. Number four puts a shot on goal, but tipped up into the net. There will be a face-off in the Simsbury end. And face-off one, put number four, puts a blast on it, and Simsbury goalie covers the puck, and we'll have another face-off. Face off one by Simsbury. They bring it back around behind their net. Number 11 brings it across the blue line. Trying to get it back into Northwest Catholic's end. It slides back across the goal line. It was scrum in the corner for the puck. Northwest Catholic brings it out to center ice. Number 21 with a good head of steam gets poked away. Back behind line, back out. And there's a blast towards the goal. And a save. And number one, Maxwell Allen. Simsbury, back in Simsbury's end. Simsbury takes it out to center ice and drops it in and goes for a line change. Number 14 puts it on goal but shoots it wide. There's a hit put on by the Indians. Simsbury dumps it back into the end zone. West Catholic takes over, shoots it out to center ice. He's got a man on the go, and it's poked away. There's a good shot of Maxwell Allen, the goal for, for Simsbury. And it's all the way back down to the Indians' end. And we have an 
icing against the Indians, bring that face off all the way back to their end. Face off one by the Indians. They get back behind their net, trying to get it out of their end. And they shoot it back down into Simsbury zone and icing again. We'll bring it back to the Indians end for another face off. Simsbury wins the face-off, sends it back to center ice, and then dumps it in the zone, and Indians pull back and regroup. And they get it out to center ice. In comes number 21 by himself. Gets poked away. Simsbury brings it back to the Indians end, but they quickly turn it around. Oh, and it's poked away by Simsbury, and they put it back. Simsbury dumps it back into the Indians end. Oh, and Simsbury pokes it back in. Indians trying to get out of their end. They bring it back to center ice. Simsbury steals it. Brings it back in. And then they regroup back to center ice. Number 15 runs it down in the Indians' end. That's Nolan Thompson. Number 14 puts a shot on goal. Number Brian Gelman is pushed away by the Indians' goalie. Number 17 brings it back in. That's Hunter Chapman. And the Indians send it back out to center ice. Simsbury dumps it back in. Looks like they're going for a line change again. Back out to center ice. Number 13 brings it in. It's run off the puck. Simsbury keeping it in, trying to get a good shot on goal here. There's a wrist shot towards the goal, just wide. Simsbury on a good offensive time here. And the Indians send it back out, down into the Simsbury zone, and Simsbury regroups to get their offense going while the Indians make a line change. The Indians bring it in, and they score! The Indians take first, take first blood in this game. That was number 20, Zeke Angolini, and he was assisted by Jesse McLean. Makes the score 1-0 Indians. We're back to second, uh, center ice for the face-off. Simsbury wins the faceoff, but gets sent back into their end. Puck goes around the boards out center ice. Number nine brings it in. He's got a man open, but it gets poked away. Simsbury keeps it in the Indians' end. Trying to get back that score. And we have a stoppage of play here. And there'll be a face-off in the Indians' end. Not 
sure what the delay is here. There we go. Number nine, Jake Arnold taking the face off and he wins it. Seems where he keeps it in the Indians' end. Then we get the Indians take it back out to center ice into the Simsbury zone. Takes a shot. And it's covered up by the goalie Maxwell Allen. And we'll have a face off in the Simsbury end. Number nine, Jake Arnold taking face off for Simsbury. And the Indians win that one. Simsbury getting it into center ice. Oh, and what a hit by number 12. But number four gets it back, and he dumps it in. Simsbury goes for a line change. Indians send it around the board, trying to get it out of their zone. They flip it to the center ice, back to the Simsbury defense, and they bring it back into the Indian zone, number 15. This gets poked away by the Indians goalie. And a shot on goal and steered away by the Indians goalie. Nice save. Back into the Simsbury zone. It looks like we have an icing. facing off in the Indians end number 15 taking the face off for Simsbury that's Nolan Thompson and the Indians take that one Trying to work it out of their zone. They flip it out into the center ice. It's swept up by the... We've got a whistle, but... Not sure what it's for. It looks like we've got a penalty. Or do we? Not sure what that stoppage in play was for, but... Got a face off in the Simsbury end. Back out to center ice. The Indians bring it back in. Full head of steam. They get ridden off. Shot on goals is poked away. Simsbury brings it back out to center ice. Number 17, Hunter Chapman brings it in. Number 15, oh, and he swings and misses. Back out to center ice. Big defenseman for Indians takes over on that one and sends it into the Simsbury end. And got a little back and forth on center ice here. Simsbury gathers up the puck. Out center ice. And Indians corral that one. But it stays in the zone. Here's a chance for Simsbury. And it's cleared away by the goalie. Another shot on goal. Nice spin around move. But to no avail. We have an icing against the Indians. Go back to their end for the next face-off. Face-off taken by away by Simsbury. The Indians push back out to center ice. Along the far boards. Number 12 comes up with it, sends it back. 
There's a good hit by Simsbury. Little scrum at the goal. And we have a stoppage in play. Face-off taken by Simsbury. On the back of their net. Oh, and good hit there. Since number nine on his way. Cross ice, but gets poked away by the defense. In behind the Indians' goal. And out in front. Just missed an opportunity there for a great shot. The Indians take it out to center ice. It's gathered in by the Simsbury defense. And that will be icing on Simsbury. Bring the face off back to their end. Nolan Thompson in there for the face off. And he loses it to the Indians, but it's back out to center ice. We've got a breakaway, Hunter Chapman. He's got number three, and he shoots, and he scores! Nice goal by Hunter Chapman. And that ties up the game one to one. And he brings it in on his own and puts up a great shot. Right past the goalie for the Northwest Catholic Indians. Five minutes left in the period. Face off taken by Simsbury. Oh, and it's stolen right out in the middle. Oh, and a shot on goal. What a great save by Maxwell Allen. It's down behind the Indians goal. Indians gather it up, try to get it out. It's flipped down the ice, out to center ice, and then back by Simsbury. And, nope. Here come the Indians with a head of steam. The far boards, he gets ridden off that. Hunter Chapman just flexes it into the Indians' zone. They'll gather it up while Simsbury makes a line change. And we have... Another icing against Simsbury, or no, I'm sorry, against the Indians. The Indians take over, but they can't get it out of their end. And here they come across into center ice. Moving it forward into the Simsbury zone. Puck put out in center, but taken by Simsbury. Brings it all the way down into the Indians' end. Go back and forth on the far board. Where defense gathers it in and tries to get it out to center ice. But, oh. We've got a whistle here. Let's see this. I think the puck went out of the out of out of bounds. So they'll have a face off back to the Simsbury end. Oh, and what a big hit by the big defenseman number four for the Indians. He's the biggest player on their team. They take a shot, but wide. 
Great team gathers it in. The Indians pick it off and they send it back out to center ice. Seems very trying to gather it in. They get it back out to center ice. Number 19 brings it in, but he's ridden off easily. A little shoving from behind there. And seems where he keeps it in the zone. Indians bring it up the near side. And what a great save there by Max Ladder. And another one on the rebound. Puck is rolling around in front of the goal there, and Simsbury finally clears it down the ice. That looks like, a, oh no, it's, it's okay, it's no ice, and they thought it might be ice. And the Indians dump it in, looks like they'll go for a small line change. In front of the goal again, but steered away. Send it back to center ice. Simsbury gathers it up. Back into the Indian zone. It's number 17. He does a little nifty move but loses the puck. Back to 14. And a shot on goal. Number 22. Steered clear. There's a shot out in front but couldn't hold on to the puck. Oh, and there's a shot. Tried to steer it into the goal but just went wide. Seems great. Gathers up the puck. Back into the Indians' end. And a shot by Hunter Thompson. And he just hits it over the net there. Well, backhand on the goal. And the goalie covers it up for the Indians. for the puck there. Back across the goal line, behind the goal. Seems we're trying to get, and there's a stoppage in play. And it looks like we've got a tripping penalty coming up. Let's see who gets the take two in the penalty box. That's number 19. Zake Levin. Oh, I'm sorry, Brendan Law. Is it number 18 or 19? Sorry, that was Zake, Zake Levin. It's in the penalty box. Or Zach Levin. Seems very short handedly keeping it in the Indians' end, but here come the Indians out to center ice. Trying to be good on the uh, on the power play. There's a shot on goal, steered wide. And we've got a stoppage in play. Trojans trying to dig it out of their end on, on the near boards. Big number four takes a shot, but wide. And there's the end of the period. And we're tied here at one to one. And we'll be right back with the second period. Stay tuned. second period of the Century Trojans versus the Northwest Catholic Indians at 
tie score here, one to one. Uh, the first goal being scored by the Indians, number 20, Zeke Angelini. And Simsbury goal scored by Hunter Chapman. So we're about ready to get started here in the second period. As the teams line up on center ice for the faceoff. second here. As you can see, the teams have switched ends for the second period. And here we go. Base off one by the Indians right off and it's sent into the center zone, then right back through center ice. And we have a stoppage in play. Faceoff will be in the Indians' end. And of course, you know the uh, Sinsbury is still working to end this power play with still about a minute left to go. Down man. Indians put it into Sinsbury's zone, then have to swing back because they would have been off sides. They send it all the way back into the goal. He has to. Put a stop to it, and there will be a face-off back in the Indians' end again. So Simsbury's killing off this penalty pretty well here right now in the first few minutes of the second period. And the Indians flip it out into center ice, looking the puck up over the blue line, back to center. We take a shot, I don't think it takes the shot. And Zian's trying to work around to get a fair shot on goal. And they center it. Goes right through the mouth of the goal. Nobody home. Oh, and there's a shot on goal. Good save by the Sensory goalie. Indians still trying to work. Work out play. And they center it in front, but nobody could get a stick on it. It goes all the way back to the Indians' end, and they'll regroup and try again. And uh, the penalty's over. Keeping it down at Simsbury's end. Sliding behind the goal. Back out to center ice. Couldn't get a handle on that puck. Now, oh, a brutal hit there. And they put a, the Indians put a puck on the goal, but it stopped. Turned aside. And the puck goes all the way back down into the Indians' end. And it looks like that will be an icing. So we'll be back for the face-off in Simsbury's end. Face-off taken by Simsbury. Trying to get it out of their own zone and flip it. Back to center ice, and oh no, it's held in, put right in front of the goal, but steered away. And number six takes the shot, but it goes over the goal. The Indians keeping it in the center end pretty well here. No, oh, that slides out back up to center ice, and I'll have to regroup. into the Simsbury end. Behind the goal, they slide it outside the board, but the Indians take control. Keep it in, but there it goes back out to center ice and back down into the Indians end. No icing called. Simsbury trying to keep it in the Indians end here. No, nope. and it's back out to center ice. Careful. 
the Indians put a shot on goal and it's stopped by goalie Maxwell Allen. We'll have the face off in the Simsbury end. Try not to hit the leg, okay? Face-off taken by the Indians. Keeping it down behind the Simsbury goal. Simsbury trying to work it out of their end. Flips it back to center ice. Down into the Indians' end. Behind the Indians' goals. Take it back to center ice by the Indians. Indians move into the Simsbury end. Put the shot on goal, but it's wide. They'll try to keep it in, but no, they can't keep it in. Simsbury gets the puck, moves in. Sends it back, puts a little shot on goal, but well wide. Simsbury flips it back into the zone. They keep it in. Cross to 15. Tries to put it in, but stopped by the Indians goalie. That was a shot on goal by number 15, Nolan Thompson. Had good position, but the goalie got the better of it. And that'll be a face-off in the Indians' end. Simsbury keeps it in, trying to dig it out, gives it up to the Indians, back to center ice, into the Trojan zone, away to the far boards, back behind the goal, Simsbury trying to get it out of their end. Centering pass over to number 12, but he sends it high over the goal again. He tries. Maxwell Allen stops that one. Back into the corner. Back out, but sent back in by the Indians. Back behind Simsbury's goal. And it's nice pass there, broken up by Simsbury. Back through center ice. The Indians bring it back in. Number seven's got a shot, but he can't get a handle on the puck, and he's ridden off well by the Simsbury defense. Comes back to center. Nope, and they dump it back in. Back into the Simsbury zone. Back on the near boards. Oh, and what a hit by number 26. Indians bring it back into the Trojans' end. They flip it out in front, but ridden off by 16. Great defense on his part. That was James Foster. Good hit on the Indian forward. Knocked him right off the puck. There'll be a face-off back here in Trojan's end. Trojans get the puck. Trying to get it out of their end, and they flip it off the boards so out to center ice and back into the Indian zone. Got a stoppage in play here. And we've got a penalty to number 20. Looks like a cross check. So Simsbury will be on 
the power play for the next two minutes. Number 20, the penalty goes to Sure here, just have to open That's Zeke Anglini. Our first goal scorer. Buck goes around Sims behind the Indians net. Seems very circles around looking for a shot and it's stolen. Brought back out to center ice by number 21. He's taking a shorthanded goal. He gets a good shot, but they can't put it in. Oh, this what a hit. Was that a hit? Or was it, did he get knocked down by the door? I think he got hit by the by the door of the penalty box there on the side of the uh, of Simsbury's bench. That will bring the face off back out into center ice, just beyond the Indians' blue line there. Face off is picked up by Simsbury and dumped into the Indians' end, and they'll chase it in. Number 14 picks it up, passes it off. Behind the goal, trying to work it around and get to get a good shot here. And he puts a shot up. Looks like it went wide, and we've got another stoppage in play. Off will be out just outside the blue line again. As soon as where he puts it back in his Indian zone, but it's quickly almost out. Oh, and it went back out onto center ice. They'll have to regroup. Nope. Indians pick it up and they drive on goal, but it's steered away by the Simsbury defense. Simsbury takes it back up ice on the near boards. Back into the Indian zone. Back behind the goal. Takes it out, tries to sweep it around, but it's steered away by the Indians. Number 14 puts a shot on goal, but it's gobbled up by the Indians goalie. We'll have a face-off back in the Indian zone. Simsbury takes the face off and they put it back in the Indians behind the goal. Comes back out to the far boards behind the goal again. And we have a stoppage again. Looks like the goal came off of its moorings. And we'll have a face off back in the Indians end. So Simsbury trying to put something together for their power play. They take it back. Number 22 takes a shot on goal. It's tipped wide. Indians trying to knock it out of there. And they get it back into center ice. Simsbury brings it back in. Back into the corner by the near boards. Here comes the Indians. Skating out at center ice, good breakaway, another pass, and they score! What a great play by the Indians. And that was number 21, Jesse McLean, with the goal. And number 12, Tyler Knoll gets the assist. And that brings the score to 2-1 to one in favor of the Northwest Catholic Indians.
And that was a shorthanded goal, I believe. Uh, perhaps it wasn't. Here we are back on center ice for the face-off. Seems where he wins the face-off, and they bring it into... And it's quickly taken away by the Indians. Back out. Seems where he keeps it in the zone. Back behind the net. Number 10. Tries to put it on the goal, but not successfully. Seems where he keeps it in. Now the puck is just dumped back down into Simsbury's end. And we have an icing. Against the Indians. The puck will be brought all the way back to their end for the faceoff. Simsbury picks it up off the faceoff and they take the shot on goal. Rebound back. Indians get it out to center ice and they're chasing it down. Got a breakaway, but no. And the, they plow into the goal and knock it off this morning. So we'll have the faceoff in the Simsbury end. Oh, and we've got a tripping penalty. Tripping on number two. That's Willem Rooney. And he'll go to the send in, as Adam calls it, for two minutes. The Indians win the face off. Seems where he tries to kill off the penalty. Good centering move. Shot and out of bounds. And there will be a face off in the Simsbury end. Indians pick up the face off. Get it back behind the net on the far boards. We'll bring it out. Seems we're trying. Oh, the Indians keep it in. Big number four. Indians still keep it in. They keep moving the puck around. Good centering out up front and a shot, but one high. Back and that can a shot, but he kind of whiffs on that one and sends it wide. Back into the center. They put it on goal, but... Allen covers up the puck, and we'll have a face-off in Simsbury end. Indian still on power play. Simsbury takes the face off, puts it behind the goal, trying to knock it out. They get it back out to center ice. The Indians take it back, trying to maneuver it out. They take it in, down to the far end, swing it out in front, trying to get a stick on it, but shoots it over the net. The Indians keep it in. They send it back to behind the goal. And around to the far board. Oh, and he puts it in front and tipped and covered again by the Simsbury goalie, Max Allen. Max has had his work cut out for him in this power play.
Faceoff won by the Indians. It takes a shot, but it's blocked. Puck out in front. Indians gather it up. Slides a shot on goal, but looks like Allen loves it. Another good save on this power play. Number four puts a big blast on goal again out in front. The Indians keep it in the zone. Puck out in front of the goal, but Allen steers it away again. Simsbury defense keeps that puck out of the out of the goal. So we'll have the face-off back in the simple end. Buck out in front. They try to get a, get a shot on goal, but it's getting steered away. Simsbury gathers it up behind their goal. Gets it out. Back to full strength now. Indians keeping it in the zone. Sims are trying to get it out. And they get it out center ice. And they're moving the puck up, but they get number nine gets ridden off and taken down. No call there. And shot on goal. And it rolls in off the rebound. Number four gets the score for Simsbury. Number four, Benjamin Levin. And we'll give the assist to Brendan Law. We'll put the shot on goal. And the rebound off of his teammate. Levin just rolls right in the goal and ties the game 2-2. Two to two. Simsbury gets control of the puck, sends it back in the zone, around behind the net. Simsbury keeps it in. The Indians try to work it out, but keeps ending up back in there. Simsbury takes it out to center ice, maneuvers in, and a blast, and he scores! A big score there. And that was number 17 again, Hunter Chapman with his second goal. And we'll give the assist to number 22, Nathan McIntyre. And that makes the score 3-2 in Simsbury's favor. Two quick goals by the Trojans. Put them on top for the first time in the game. That was two quick goals by Simsbury. Simsbury chases it down in their own end. Trying to work it, works it back to center ice. Oh, and he's ridden off by number 24. Big hit. Back into the Simsbury zone. It goes in another hit by number 22 for the defense. That was, num that was Nate McIntyre making a big hit there on, on the Indian forward. Indians try to maneuver in front of the goal, but can't. Simsbury works back into the Indians end behind the goal. Around to the far board. Indians gather it up, though, and they're gotten the full steam. Two on one. He takes a shot, but it's blocked. 
They had the wide open net, but couldn't get it past the Simsbury defense. Another shot on goal. And it skitters off. Still in any and Zen. Another shot on goal. Blocked. And then he scores again off the rebound. The third goal for Simsbury in just a few minutes. What a great shot. And that was number 13, Peter Sconzo with a goal. Off the rebound and will give the assist to Riley Chapman. Puts the Simsbury Trojans up four to two. So Simsbury scoring three quick goals. Puts them up two goals. Simsbury really turning on the offense here in the end towards the end of the second period. Simsbury gets the puck back out center ice. Put it in the Indians' end, but the Indians quickly scoop it up. Nope. And there's a little back and forth here at the blue line. The Indians gather it up. Quickly move it forward into the Simsbury zone. Back behind the Simsbury's goal. And they're scrumming around behind there trying to get that puck out. And we have a stoppage in play. About 11 seconds left in the period here. The Indians gather up the puck. Try to get a shot on goal, but it's just steered wide. Indians bring it along the near board. I back out to center ice. And we have a stoppage in play. Oh, that's the end of the period. And Simsbury scoring three unanswered goals. Take the lead into the third period, four to two. Stay tuned for the third period. Welcome back to the third period, where the Simsbury Trojans lead, lead the Northwest Catholic Indians four to two. Simsbury scored three quick goals at the end of the second period to go up two goals. The first goal being by Benjamin Levin, number four. The next was Hunter Chapman, and then Peter Sconzo. And we're getting ready for the puck drop, and we're on our way. Indians quickly get the puck into the Simsbury end. Simsbury defense circles back behind the net. And the Indians take over in center ice. But Simsbury wrangles it back in and crosses over into the Indian zone. Circles out in front, but it's saved by the goalie. Indians take the puck. Bring it into the Simsbury end. And we have a stoppage in play here. And it looks like we have a penalty on number 10. And that would be Kurt Eustis. So Simsbury's got to kill off the penalty here. The goalie covers up the puck. Base off taken by the Indians, but squirted out back to center ice and down into their zone. Being chased all the way back.
The Indians bring it out on fresh legs. And there's a stoppage in play. Yep, minute 40 left in the Simsbury penalty. Faceoff will be outside Simsbury's blue line. Simsbury slaps it clear down the ice. Has to be taken away from the goal. Indians bring it into Simsbury's end. Pass in front and off the side of the net. Backhand try. Saved, rebound, and covered up by Max Allen. He didn't stake the face off, put a shot on goal. Steered away, but covered up again by the Simsbury goalie, Max Allen. Simsbury gathers up the puck, tries to clear the zone, but doesn't get free. A blast on goal. Another shot on goal, the rebound. And it's in the net. Big number four takes a shot, but goes wide, and the rebound off the backboard goes in for the goal, and that's number 20, Zeke Angolini. His second goal today. And the assists go to John Errol, number four, and number 11, Anthony Seelin. So, the Trojans are still up by a goal. Score being 4-3. to three. It up behind the Simsbury net. Simsbury trying to get it out to center ice. And the Indians bring it back in and he slaps it into the backboard. Simsbury chases it down while the Indians make a line change. And we'll have an icing against the Trojans. Got 12.28 left in the period. Indians pick it up, but a blast by number four goes wide. Pick it up on the far board and send it back in behind the net. Simsbury clears the zone, but it's gathered up by the Indian defense. They bring it back in the offensive zone and put... And the goal, the goal goes off its moorings and we'll have a stoppage of play. Faceoff coming here in a second. And the captain gets kicked out of the faceoff. Simsbury picks up the faceoff behind their net. 
And they get it out to center ice. Back and forth along the blue line. The Indians dump it in. Shot on goal. Picked up by the goalie, Max Allen. I'll keep the face off down at Trojan's end. Simsbury takes, takes the puck. Trojans get it out to center ice. Captain, the full head of steam comes in, passes it off, but pass goes wide. Indians take over on the far board. Skated in. Simsbury clears it back out to center ice, and the puck goes out of bounds. Simsbury takes the face off, clears it back out to center ice, but Indians take over, back into the Simsbury's end. Oh, and he puts a shot on goal, but a good save, and the rebound, and they score! The Indians have tied up the game here, 4-4. Four to four. That was number six, Tucker Olisi on the rebound and he stuffs it in. The assist goes to number 12, Tyler Knoll, number 11, Anthony Seelin. So we're all tied up here with 10.44 left in the period. So right away that nice comfortable lead that Simsbury had is, is just gone. We've got a timeout. Trojans have taken a timeout here. Well, this has just been a spectacular game. Eight goals so far. Simsbury trying to regroup, get their game plan back on track here. Get a goal. And here we'll get the act back to the action in just a second. take the puck into the Trojans end. The defense clears the puck back out to center ice. Simsbury takes it in. Let's put a little shot on goal. Back behind the net. Good rebound. Oh, and they scored! Didn't really see that one, but they scored nonetheless. Simsbury goes up a goal again. Number 15, slaps it home. And that's was number 15, Nolan Thompson. An assist for Hunter Chapman, number 17.
The Indians take it over, and they take it into the Trojans end and dump it in behind the net. Simsbury picks it up. Indians keep it down in the zone. Slide it back to their defense and put it on goal, but steered away by the goalie. Another one on goal. Saved. Simsbury gathers it up outside center ice, but turns it over to the Indians. Simsbury dumps it down into the Indians' end to make the line change. Simsbury defense gathers it up, brings it out to center ice, down into the Indian zone, into the corner. They're trying to dig it out. Goes behind the Indians' net. And we have an icing against the Indians. Simsbury wins that face off and sends it back behind the net. It's caught up in the corner. The Indians take over, bring it out to center ice, and they've got a flood of steam going. Number 21 tries to take the shot on goal, but it's covered up by Max Allen. That'll bring the face off back to the Trojans' end. Eight twenty-eight left in the period. The Indians pick up the face-off. Try to put a quick shot on the net. It's blocked away. Simsbury clears the zone, takes it out to center ice, then into the Indians' end. Centering pass, but nobody home. Back out to center ice, Simsbury gathers it up, sends it back into the Indian zone. The Indians take it behind their own net, the goalie goes off, got a delayed penalty here. On Simsbury. Looks like number 14. Not sure what the call is here yet, but it looks like a cross check or boarding. I'm sorry, boarding. So that was number 14, Brian Gelman. So the uh, Trojans will have to stave off another power play by the Indians. Sorry, that was Brian Gelman that put in the penalty box. And Sindri clears the zone and they chase it down into the Indians' end. It's a good penalty kill in there. Quickly, the Indians bring it into the Trojans' end. They keep it in. Dump it back to the, behind the goal. Back out top to the defense again. He brings it in. And Simsbury clears it out.
We've got 45 seconds left in the penalty here. Indians send it forward. Sindri can't clear the zone. Eating up some seconds here. Indians come on in a blast and off the post. Indians send it back down into the Simsbury end. And we have a stoppage in play. and offsides. And the penalty's over for number 14. Nine puts a shot on goal, saved by the Indians goalie. Another one back on the goal, just turned side by the goalie. Indians bring it back up ice. They just kind of dump it into the Sinsbury end. Back out to center ice. Indians dig it out, send it back in, but Sinsbury defense gathers it up and sends it back out to center ice, and the Indians bring it right back. Indians got shot on goal and they put one up there. It's deflected up into the net. Oh, it looked like it. Plays, play goes on. Indians are keeping it in the center end. A shot on goal, but too high. The Indians gather it up at their own end. it out to center ice, down into the center end, passes it off, good shot there. Back out to center ice, Indians dump it in for a line change. Simsbury sends it out to center ice, but the Indians just slap it back down. Simsbury gathers it up. Trying to get some momentum here. Dump it in, number 17. Tries to push shot on goal. It's blocked away. The Indians knock it back out to center ice. Take it over there. Dump it into the Simsbury end. Simsbury chases it down and rattles around behind the net. Back behind the net again. The 24 comes up with it, puts a shot on goal. It's saved. And it's still rolling around in front of the goal there. Another shot there, but just off the side of the goal. way back down into the Indians end for an icing against the Trojans. Just waiting for the face off here. We've got some kind of delay. here. Got a packed house here tonight. It's the rivals from across the mountain over West Hartford. 
Simsbury gathers it up, but they can't clear the zone. Oh, and then it goes back out to center ice where the Indians gather it up again. Take it back into the Simsbury end. And then it goes out of play. Two forty six left in the game. Simsbury up five four. Face off taken by Simsbury. I'll try to get it out of their end. Get slapped back in behind the goal. Simsbury gets it back out to center ice. The Indians gather it up, bring it back into Simsbury's end. And they give it up to Simsbury and they bring it back out to the Indians' end. Simsbury gathers it up. Send it back into the Indians' end. The Indians gather it up. Imagine they'll be pulling their goalie pretty soon. Went back and forth here. Indians bring it back in and slap it into the end. Simsbury gathers it up. Oh, Indians take over again. Funny little bounce off the boards there. Simsbury dumps it in. You know, ice in there. Indians have to regroup as Trojans make a line change. Just about one minute left to go. Number 17 puts a backhand on goal, but it's steered away by Max Allen. Simsbury gathers it up. Oh, and he overskates the puck. Knocked back in by the Indians' big defenseman, number four. Big hit there. Number 12. Gets the puck back down in the Sim behind the Simsbury goal. And the Simsbury send it out. No icing here. Indians gather it up quickly, get it back into Simsbury's end. Simsbury picks it up and they shoot. And it's and they score an empty netter. Indians have pulled their goalie. number three, Riley Chapman with the goal in the unattended net put Simsbury up six to four so it looks like the Simsbury Trojans will move to three and one on the season their next game will be Friday, January 3rd against the combination team of Fermi, Enfield, East Granby, and Stafford. And that game starts at 7.25 p.m. And there's the game. Simsbury Trojans win this high-scoring game. Ten goals altogether. My name is Ken Picard. And thank you for watching this presentation of SCTV Sports. And we'll see you next Friday right here at the International Skating Center of Connecticut.